everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day, sorry, I thought my camera stopped recording. I post every day of the week while I'm today in this video. I'm going to um, talk about the knitting things I suck at tag. So I thought this would be a fun video to do because I know there's a lot of videos of beauty gurus doing like the beauty things I suck at. Why not? I thought why not talk about like hobbies or sports or whatever we suck at when it comes to like a certain activity we're doing like beauty things you things you suck at not suck at or it could be like knitting or crocheting just any kind of hobby I mean it's like not everybody's perfect at a hobby and just so you guys know there's things that take a lot of practice and then the more you practice the better you're gonna get at it and not everybody's perfect and I thought this would be a fun video to make um make because I'm been knitting since I was 13 years old, I still have things I'm not good at when it comes to knitting. So I hope this video makes you guys feel better that to let you guys know that hobbies or beauty, they all take practice. And you're going to get better at it the more you practice and stuff. And I, I'm going to talk about all of the things that I suck at when it comes to knitting. And if you guys want to do like a things I suck at at crocheting or things I suck at at knitting, you can do that. That that would be really fun because it's also good for other people to know what you're still practicing when it comes to like that hobby or just whatever you're doing, like painting, just anything. I mean, it's like not everybody's perfect when it comes to their favorite hobby. So I'm going to get started. So the first thing I suck at is checking my gauge. So this is one thing that I never do when it comes to knitting before I make like a garment or a pillow. I literally never understood how the gauge thing worked. Worked, And I'll show you guys an example for those who don't know what I'm talking about. So this is what gauge looks like. So gauge is just a um, thing where you measure your knitting to make sure um, you know how many stitches to cast on. So this is one problem I just forget to do is just check my gauge. I never did it before and some of the pieces I've always gotten to fit without checking my gauge but I always sucked at checking my gauge because I never actually did it when I was younger younger and I just started doing it this year and I'm still learning how it works. Um, I've gotten a bit better like I've gotten my gauge for pillows and stuff. I just don't know how to do sweaters yet. I still just can't get the um, math part to work because math is like I said is my, my like not my best subject but I'm getting a little better at it through knitting because knitting requires a lot of math to do everything and I'm still learning how the math works when it comes to gauge checking. It's pretty confusing for me and I'm still not really understanding it. So I'm still just trying to get better at it and I've practiced, I've gotten better at my estimation a bit, but I still just need to work on um, how it works. The next thing I suck at is magic loop method. So basically what the magic loop is, is like you take um, your really long circular needles and you um, cast on fewer stitches to knit in the round, but it, um, sometimes people, so what the magic loop is, method is, it helps you prevent from switching double point to double pointed needles, because I know some people hate doing that and some people find this method a bit easier. And stuff. I personally think this method is hard. I literally, every time I do the magic loop method, I always just have like a big strand of yarn hanging, which you're not supposed to have when it comes to magic loop, loop. and I never could get my stitches to stay properly because half the time they'd be stretched out and stuff. I still can't get it to work. I'm still learning how this works too. I'm not the best at it, so this is why I never do videos on how to do um, magic loop because I can't get it to work myself. Um, well, if I know a ton of people are able to get the magic loop method to work. I just can't get it to work because every time I do it, it stretches out my stitches. It's just, and I sometimes have a big strand and I really am bad at that. So I'm still at the midst of practicing. I've gotten a little bit better, but it's just, I need to practice more. Not the next thing I suck at is stranding colors. So basically what stranding colors is, I'm sure most of you guys know what stranding colors is if you knit. Um, it's when you knit with um, a different color than your main color in the same row. 
that I suck at because I pull too tight and I can and it look makes my pieces look all bunched up and stuff. So I'll show you guys an example. Here's an arm warmer I made. Um, it's a Love Bites arm warmer by um, Pretty and Punk Knitting. Um, it's a pretty cool book. Um, I'm not sponsored by that book. Um, so this is what um, or being paid to talk about it. So um, this is like a pattern I made and I'll show you the inside of it. So. I had to kind of like cut the strands and it looks kind of like bunched down here because it's a little bit tight. I have a bad habit of not loosening my tension when it comes to stranding colors. I'm still in the midst of practicing, like I said, many, many times before. Um, I just need to find ways to help me not strand so tight. Right, and I don't know how to do it unless I do the English method. method. Because if I do continental, I'm going to pull too tight. Um, if you guys have any knit and have any tips on how to do um, stranding colors, please let, let me know down in the comments below because I could use some help with that. The another thing I suck at is changing circular needles. Okay, um, so magic loot. Another thing I suck at is changing circular needles. So I have two separate circular needles here. Um, I think, I don't know what, I think these are size fours or something and then these are size 11. So one thing I hate about changing circular needles is how the needles wobble and they get in the way and it makes it very difficult for me. So that's why anytime I knit I use the Boye Needle Master Kit. Again, oh sorry that was just a reminder. Um, um, Boye Needle Master Kit and it makes it so much easier for me. Again, I'm not sponsored by the Bo by Boye to talk about that, uh, nor being paid by him. Um, so I use the Boye Needle Master Kit because it makes it 10 times easier because whenever I change these, the needles just get in the way and then it makes it 10 times harder for me to do that. I know some people are able to do it and don't have a problem with it. I personally just think it's too hard. So that's why anytime I knit I use interchangeable needles because it makes it easier for me to knit my products because a lot of my projects um, they end up a lot easier for me to change circular needles so if you guys definitely and I have a review on the Boye Needle Master Kit and if you want to see it I'll link it down below um, so um, you guys also definitely should check it out again I'm not sponsored by Boye to talk about the Boye Needle Master Kit but you definitely should check it out I know a lot of people here on YouTube use it and um, they are great because it makes it easy for you to change your circular needles because you just screw off the needle heads. heads. And so those are just much easier for me to change needle size and circular needles rather than using regular circular needles. But if you want to use regular circular needles, that's totally up to you. I personally just think these are too hard to change. So those are all the knitting things I suck at. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other requests, please comment down below. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day of the week, Vaughn. I'll see you in a video soon. Bye.